Well, Eric, uh, retired Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg is with us. He's a former national security advisor to Vice President Mike Pence, also a Fox News contributor. Uh, General Kellogg, uh, this is very concerning, this new uh, turn of events here. Uh, the commander-in-chief can't lay out his specific plans, per se, but he has to take a serious and targeted response. So what might the military reply, if you will, look like, and, and how many options do we have? Arthel, thanks for having me. Yeah, this is very, very significant. When you lose Americans and there's three dead, at least 25 wounded that we know of, it is a significant escalation. Look, I go back to what President Trump said in his State of the Union in, in January of 2020, when he said very clearly, if you attack an American, your life is forfeit. Well, we've just had some Americans killed. And frankly, anybody who didn't see this coming in, in national security area is a fool. We knew it was going to happen with the amount of attacks that have been occurring. We were just dodging the bullet. We were getting lucky. And it was caused primarily because of our normalization of activities. It was like, well, it's kind of okay to attack forces in the Middle East. It's okay to shoot missiles in the uh, ships in the Red Sea. It's okay for China to get involved uh, with Iran and Saudi Arabia in conducting peace. We've kind of taken a step back. Now the president's hand, President Biden's hand, is forced in just a few blocks from here in the White House complex and the Situation Room, I'm sure they're thinking of what they have to do. They're going to have to do what Teddy Roosevelt said, our 26th president. He said, when you strike, you strike hard. And he was the one said, speak softly, but carry a big stick. They, I don't, do not believe, Arthel, they have got any option but to go into Iran and attack Iranian targets. As Trey said just a minute ago, all of these attacks on American forces in the Middle East, be it Houthis, be it Hezbollah, be it anybody else, they're Iranian-backed. And this administration has pulled its, its, its punches. And it can't do that anymore. It has to make a hard strike. And here's the problem we've had with normalization. Because when you normalize activities and kind of, kind of accept what's going on, now changing that dynamic is really hard. You can't just go tit for tat. You have to go up what's called the escalation ladder and make a significant strike, be it on people, be it on facilities, be it on troops on the field with the Iranians, has to be something. The Pentagon is going to come up with options, and they're going to decide where they want to go. But my concern is this administration is going to take the hard option it needs to take and strike hard against the Iranians. Does that mean personnel? Sure. It could mean everything from going after Ismail Ghani, who's the current leader of the Quds Force, or even the Supreme Leader, Khamenei, or going after facilities that build the drones uh, within Iran, take out their naval facilities. They're going to have to make those decisions. But if they don't strike hard, they're making a big mistake. And I believe we're going to see a repeat of this in the future. Yeah, Tehran uh, has made this personal. And so the response has to be personal. Uh, yeah. But what I do ask, though, what about our allies in the region? I mean, who's on board and what's the current communication yeah. uh, between our allied forces? You know, I tell, that, that's a great question. And you need to bring your allies al along. But this is one, this is an American issue. They have killed Americans. And this is, as you just said, this is personal. And we should lead. And if you want to come with us, come on with us. But if you don't, we're going to remember who came with us and who didn't. And this is one of those challenges you have as Americans. You can't say, well, let's all get on the same boat and, and row together. Oh, no. This is our lead. They killed our, our troops. We're going to respond. If you want to be there, be there. Now, of course, they're reaching out to them. I'm sure they're reaching out to the French and the Brits and the Italians and everybody else. But this is clearly, it's our lead. And my take to the Allies would be, you'd better get on board, because I'm going to remember quite clearly who was with me and who wasn't with me when we have to make this response. Absolutely. And if you could give me about 30 or 40 seconds on this, you've got Putin standing by, you've got Xi Jinping standing by. What are they watching for? They're, oh, great question, Arthel. They're watching our response, and they're going to key off our response. That's the reason I was very concerned about normalization, because it kind of accepted everything. So they knew they could push, and they push hard. They're going to see what our response is going to be. And if it is not a strong response, we're just open up, opening up ourselves to further aggression by the Iranians or anybody else in the region. So this is a chance for the United States of America, for President Biden to make a strong statement. They're watching. Allies are watching. Adversaries are watching. General Keith Kellogg, thank you very much. Uh, stick around uh, throughout this day for us because we will have more, much more in this breaking news story.